What's up guys, Lenny Reed, Dynamite Diesel Products. I want to talk to you today about the Patriot series of uh, Dynamite Diesel injectors, what that means, what they're all about. So basically, Patriot series is designed to keep your legacy truck alive. A lot of trucks today are 85 to maybe even 105, $107,000. Truck payments are 15, $1,600. For most of us, that's just not affordable, it's not attainable, and it's uh, an unrealistic thing to try and keep driving new trucks. So what we're trying to do is come out with really good driving stuff to keep your 15, 20 year old trucks running, but not only just running, driving and operating better than they did 15 and 20 years ago. And with today's technology and tooling, it's actually not impossible by any stretch of the imagination. So. I'm going to explain to you what our Patriot stuff is different compared to some of the other stuff on the market. For years now, I've made fun of like wash and wear technology, basically meaning they, uh, they'll take the nozzle, buy something from China or Italy that's just a piece of garbage, they throw it on a body, they wash the rest of the body, they might tear it apart, might wash it, put it back together. There's some inferior quality seals that are available in the market. They'll throw a seal in it, they'll throw a nozzle on it, might even throw a solenoid on it to make it look pretty. But reality is some of the older solenoids are even better than some of the stuff that's out there on the market you're being, you're being sold now. We're not doing wash and wear technology. I'm gonna give you an in-depth dive look at what it is we're doing, what we're, the extents, uh, the labor, and what parts we're actually gonna replace. This product is going to retail for $294. The core charge is $75. The warranty is two years unlimited mileage. All reman product, all 5.9 common rails coming out in just a few days. We're introducing this November 1st, 2023. So what are we gonna replace? First off, the thing that's probably Forgotten about and left alone the most is the control valve. You can't physically see this because it hides inside the body, but this thing is responsible for basically all of the fluid that ever flows through the injector. On the side, there's a side port. It is left alone. It doesn't really fail. Once in a while, it'll get, plugs. It'll, it'll get plugged with a piece of trash. The injector will contribute way too much at that point. We can find that piece of trash, pull it back out, and that takes care of a lot of your problems when that does happen. But the top port, I'm gonna use the magic of green screen technology to show you some pictures right now of that top port. Now that top port, it gets abused. This thing will rock well harden and it's case hardened, so it's not through hardened. Uh, this will rock well approximately 55 rock well and when you wear through that case hardening, the rest of the metal is like 13, 15, 17, so it's a fairly soft material. Now, it's gotta be soft because when they machine these things in Micron to try and get the clearancing right, they need to be able to cut them very, very accurately and very, very quickly. So if they gave you a material that was any harder than that, they wouldn't be able to give you those kinds of tight clearances. So with the, uh, with the Rockwell hardening being case hardened, once you wear through that, or if in the aftermarket world, I've seen guys try to re-grind this valve seat. As soon as you grind through that Rockwell Harden, you're going to be into the butter. As long as you cut through that and do not harden that seat area again, this control valve is going to last a very, very short-lived life once you machine that out. So we at Dynamite with the Patriot Series are not going to be ever trying to reuse a control valve. Every single time, you're always gonna get a brand new control valve. So, nozzle, come on. You know better. Of course we're putting brand new nozzles on everything. Would putting a brand new nozzle on constitute calling it a remanufactured injector? Absolutely not. I just explained to you the control valve is probably more important, if not just as important, as the nozzle, so of course, you're always gonna get the best quality nozzle that we can give you with the best configuration, angle, hole count, hole size, and always the latest and greatest AFM technology through our nozzles. So you're going to get a very, very top quality part when it comes to that. Now, around just above the injector, there's lots of little things, which I'm going to point out. We've got a spring, 
we've got a shim, we've got a barrel holder, and we've got a DNH shim. So these two shims down by the nozzle are responsible for overall needle lift and the idle travel. Those two shims will get reused by maybe over half the time. Whenever we reuse shims, they go into a tumbler, they get polished and cleaned up, they come out of a tumbler, they go into an ultrasound machine. After they get ultrasound, they get blowed off, dried off. If there's any burring on them, which some of these shims, brand new, have little burrs on them, and those burrs will give you an injector that calibrates really good right here in the shop, but when that burr wears off, the calibration's out the window. So we deburr everything with a lapping stone. It's very tedious. That gives you an injector that's going to calibrate easily here in the shop and it's gonna stay calibrated out on the street for a good long time. Injector bodies. Well, I'll tell you what. In the past two or three months, the amount of bodies that we've been purchasing has been an unbelievable amount. And we're working hard on trying to reclaim a greater percentage of these things. There's a couple of measurements that go on with this body that make them unusable. And those ones we have to throw out and discard. Some of them, we just think they're ugly and they're not pretty enough, so we don't want to use them. But I've probably got three or 400 pounds of core bodies right now that we're not super stoked about. So we're kind of going through, you're always gonna get the best that we can give you as far as looks and appearance wise. But if we give it to you, we're sure that it's not cracked and we're sure that all of the critical clearances are actually met and it's gonna be a good body. So body, you're gonna get uh, always basically as a reused part. So that will be a remanufactured part. There's an O-ring in the body at the very top. Every single time, always new O-rings. There's an O-ring in this part of the body. Every single time, always gonna get the new O-ring. We have an armature. This is an armature fully assembled. It's loaded with a lock, a spring. And if you motion this thing just correctly, you can, you can physically open it and close it, open it and close it. That travel is critical and some of these things get really dirty. So what we have to do is just like I have laid out right here on the table, we disassemble the armature assembly. Everything gets tumbled, polished, cleaned, ultrasound, blowed off, dried out. That job is also quite tedious, but if we're going to give you something that functions correctly, that is absolutely a necessary step. Solenoids. I want to talk about solenoids because there is a lot of aftermarket solenoids on the planet that are being sold to you as new solenoids that are trash. So far, we have sold over a thousand solenoids and we have three, and I feel very, very bad for one customer because he got two. We have three solenoids that have failed on us in over a thousand units. So warranty rate is extremely low, but we found that our supplier sent us a batch that we didn't, there was, we found a, a couple of small differences in them. We let the supplier know about it and we let the supplier know that we didn't want these anymore. But out of the three uh, solenoids that have failed, they were all out of that same batch. So we've already taken care of that. Uh, it seems so far that the ones that have came back instantly failed, like as soon as the truck was started up, one of them actually failed in the test stand here in the shop. And the other two, like I said, happened to one customer, uh, which I could not believe numerically that that would actually happen to that poor fella. But we ended up sending him a third set of injectors and took care of him. And because I was in disbelief, we put those in our shop truck and troubleshot that, figured out which of the six injectors was giving him issues, and then found that basically on the magnet, on the bottom of that, that magnet was already starting to kind of uh, cancer away. Uh, so we, we discovered that and we're going to show that to the manufacturer of the solenoid and we're going to let them know that we found their problem and uh, make sure they don't continue giving us that same issue. Will you ever get these used? Potentially. Right now, we're going to supply you with all new solenoids, but for the foreseeable future and in the future, I'm not going to promise you that you're always going to get a brand new solenoid, but I will promise you this. The OEM solenoids are really, really good as long as the injector stays clean and that the armature lift was set correctly when the injector was installed. They last for basically ever. If the injector gets dirty and it starts to function slowly, then the solenoid has to work extra long and extra hard 
and you'll destroy solenoids because of that. If the gap is set incorrectly, then you'll actually ground these solenoids out and they will fail from that. Otherwise, you don't really see magnets fail. So right now, everybody's getting new solenoids. In the future, with supply chain issues, I can't promise that's always gonna be done. So what we're doing at this point is we're stockpiling thousands of good, tested, used solenoids just to save us the pain of not being able to send out product just in case we ever get a bad batch of these or in case we ever don't get freight on time. So there you go. I see a control valve ball right here. That little ball is uh, not only just super small, but also very, very hard. That ball rides on the top of the control valve. So right in the top of that. Now when that ball and that seat are matched perfectly and they're both clean, you got a really good long lasting part. The balls are extremely cheap, so we're always gonna replace those. And as long as that ball stays smooth and round because the seat area that it's in is not been contaminated, then they basically will last forever, but you're always gonna get a brand new one. We have the seat that the ball rides in from the armature down. That thing's gonna be reused uh, because they don't fail. It's a non-wearing part. The ball will fail, the control valve will fail, but that seat will not. So you're gonna get that reused. I've got the nut that holds the actual uh, control valve in. You're always gonna get that reused. Of course, we wash them, tumble them, clean them, all the things, but it's a non-wearing part. We've got shim above and shim below the armature. Again, those shims are gonna be disassembled. They're gonna be washed. We're gonna measure these, we're gonna lap these, and you're gonna get the shims back as a used product. After we acid wash them, you would never know that they were used because as soon as we acid wash them, they look like brand new clean steel again. And if we ever had something come in here that was so rusty and so nasty that we couldn't get them clean, then we would discard those shims. Otherwise, you're gonna get the same shims over and over and over for the next 20 or 30 years. Uh, armatures, we don't have to replace because as I said, we disassemble this, wash it, clean it, tumble it, it's good to go. That is the breakdown from left to right, top to bottom of the injector and what we're gonna replace. Now, with the control valves that, we're been, that we've been testing and using, we've had these in this house and in our trucks for over a year. I've got my own trucks, we've got friends of ours trucks, been running these control valves, they calibrate very, very nicely and they've not failed any at all yet. Been really good. So, calibration. The OEM spec, we are trying to shoot for about 50% of that. So meaning if the OEM allows us 18% of deviation from one injector to the next, we are going to shoot for about a 9% deviation. So we're actually honing in and making a tighter spec of our own stuff. This injector is always gonna come, well, as a sack style nozzle. Why? Well, because that's basically what the industry says is the best style of nozzle. So even though these injectors come as VCO from the factory, we're going to give you a sack style nozzle. Is that going to cause you a problem if you replace one or two or three of the injectors in your truck? Absolutely not. They're going to be cut on the exact same angle as the OEM used for your application. And we're going to give you the same LL, the same EM, the same VL, all of the set points through the injector are gonna meet factory specifications. So you can drop this into a rig that, if you have a rig that needs one injector, no problem. You can drop it in there and it will meet and run just like a factory style injector. Uh, will it look different? Absolutely, it will totally look different. But why are we doing that? Again, because the industry says that a sack style nozzle is better, so that's what we're gonna to decide to use. Because in the next 20 years, when you guys are still driving these trucks, and they're 40 years old, 45 years old, you've got the best parts then that we had available to us today. So after I've given you a pretty thorough explanation of what we're doing to these injectors, why we're doing what we're doing, I want you to also know that for all the 5.9 guys that are out there that are gonna enjoy this new low price to get their trucks back on the road running really, really good, we are working on the program right now for the Cummins 6.7 liter stuff. And once that program has been released, we are going to continue on this same path 
and we're going to be working on Chevy Duramax LLY. So, in the future, look for remanufactured product done in-house at Dynamite Diesel at inexpensive prices with top quality parts for 6.7 liter Cummins, Chevy LLY, and who knows, down the, down the road, you're probably going to see even more stuff from us. But for right now, 5.9 is getting released on November 1st, 2023. So get yours, get them while they're fresh, and get that truck running the way it's supposed to run. Thank you, Lenny Reed, Dynamite Diesel. I'm out.